Okay, welcome to Gosh Kashiram Idea. Welcome to Kashiram Idea. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! We are out here in Ketchum, Idaho, in Sun Valley uh, for the Be Good Foundation and Rebecca's Private Idaho. Their foundation, the mission's all about, again, being good, right? Spreading that feeling of making people feel seen, loved, encouraged, and uh, using that as a foundation to lift each other up to grow. And so thank you, Be Good, for supporting Joey being out here to do his second race in the last week. This is an opportunity for Joey to be a part of their community and for us to be a part of his. So. Welcome to Catch Em. Let's have a good time. It's Saturday here in Catch em, Idaho. Tomorrow is Joey's big race, doing the tater tot race, 20 miles. Um, so today we wanted to come out and kind of send off the stage three of the Queen stage race. Just giving him an opportunity to connect with people um, and then obviously giving him a moment to just speak to the crowd um, and just a way to, for him to connect with the community and them to connect with them because again, at the end of the day, we're not trying to create any types of spaces or groups. We want Joey to be a part of their group and community and theirs to be a part of ours and connect these bridges. And, and Joey's helping lead that mission and connect that bridge. So we're just yes. out here meeting good people, right? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, yes, we, can. we can. That's right. You want to say something to him? Uh, yeah. What do you want to say, my man? I say, I say, be good. Thanks, Joey. All right, so today uh, Joey is taking on the tater tots at Rebecca's Private Idaho. And um, it's his second race. He just did his first one only uh, seven days ago. So it's actually pretty awesome that he's uh, doing this race after Gravel Worlds, but it's 50% pavement, 50% gravel, so it'd be a relatively easy ride for him. But the cool progression today is we're not cueing him at all. We're not gonna tell him when to shift down, not gonna tell him when to shift up, not gonna tell him when to use both brakes. We're gonna allow him to now study the train on his own and learn when to shift and when he needs to. Um, he understands the concepts, he knows when to do it. It's just only through you know failures and struggles that we learn to get better at those things without people telling us. So it's gonna be pretty incredible to watch him do not only his second race, but his first race with no assistance from a coach and us just being able to ride and have that experience with him. So it's gonna be a beautiful day. All right, riders, here we go. In three, two, one. To me, the, really the bike is is a vehicle for healing, empowerment, evolution. I, I sort of have a, a little bit of a mantra that movement is medicine. So the bike really is this amazing magic tool. You know, people talk about a pain cave, but I actually think it's a pain tunnel. And that on the other side of really hard things are is light and growth and something that you've never seen before. Everybody, whether it's a visible exceptionality or a non-visible one, we, we all are working through something. And so I think it's important to come to the table in the same way with everyone. So I think approaching people um, really from the heart and regardless of what you might see on the outside is super important because on the inside we're all, we're all human beings and we really aren't that different. I don't know.
a lot of people saying that one of the more inspirational things they saw today was this young man. So the bars and friends, look at this group. Congratulations, Joey! What a ride today, Joey Bar, Jim Bar, Amanda Bar, Mary Jo Bar, Bile Bar, Chase Bar. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so amazing, Joey. Great job, everybody. That's a tough one, huh? You show them your battle wounds? <laughs> battle wound, right? Yes. You know what that is? That's just proof that you did a bike race. Yeah, boy, boy, it's fine. <laughs> I got this. You got this. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. He started tearing what? up after the race because yeah, he did it for his grandma, he said. Oh, you did it for your grandma? Did you feel her out there with you? Yeah. Were you two together? Okay. Good job, Joey. I know she's watching. This is a great boy. Oh, good boy. I love you. He's 46. You're going to say hi. That's one of our big uh, French fries. Say this race is big fries. Where's for you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, man. I love that. Here <laughs> we go. So, Thank you, Rebecca, for having us and having us be a part of that. It was absolutely beautiful. And your hospitality and the way you hosted us and speak to your community just, just meant the world. But watching Joey cross his second finish line in two weeks, you know, getting to finish a race with his entire family. And um, that was just a moment that was special for everyone involved. You know, the race events, Rebecca, the event itself, our team, Joey, his family. It's one of those moments that just connects everyone. And those are what we call miracle moments, where everybody is impacted in that moment. And it's something that's going to be carried with us for the rest of our life. You know, the whole tour brought miracle moments like that. You know, when those kids ride the bike for the first time, it's like the feeling of crossing a finish line. You know, when those parents see their child ride for the first time, it's like they're crossing a finish line. It's this moment where you experience something that's, that can shift your entire life and shift your entire perspective. And that's just where, you know, Allie and Sean and Danny and myself and Morgan, just our team has been able to go, damn, we're lucky. You know, we are so lucky to be able to do this work and um, just provide opportunities for these kids to shine. So I, I just have to say thank you, you know, to the donors, to supporters, to followers, to Gooder, to everybody that sponsored us this summer and partnered with us this summer. And so thank you, Wahoo. Thank you, Specialized. You know, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ninja. Thank you, Laird Superfoods. You know, thank you guys for believing in these athletes and then believing in us to be able to execute these things, to provide these opportunities. I hope that you will follow, share, donate, volunteer, and just join this incredible movement. So thank y'all, love y'all, and until next time, see ya. Welcome to Agio. <laughs> Say catch him. I can catch him. Idaho. Idaho. Welcome to Welcome to Agio. What did you forget? Oh wait. Welcome to Agio. Agio. Oh, 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 um, catch up. Welcome to catch up. Catch up. Agio. Agio. <laughs> and mustard. <laughs> 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 Hey, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share this mission with the world. And if I can't convince you, maybe Michael can. Not afraid of my fears? Not afraid of my fears. All right, my friend, come on. Subscribe to this video if I can do this. <laughs> Give me some. Ah!